Hello and welcome to the Exhibitor webinar for Ctrade Cruise Med 2022. In this video, I will be showing you how to access the event and I will walk you through how to set up your and edit your profile in Booth. In order to access the platform, you will receive an email such as this one, which will include a personalized link that will give you direct access to your account. In case you do not have a pre-existing profile, you will also be prompted to create a password in this first step. Since I already have an account, I did not see this pop up. Once you get, gain access to the platform, you will land here on the homepage of the event. From here, there are two options to navigate to the Exhibitor Center, the back end of your Exhibitor booth. You can click on your Exhibitor booth here directly under your profile image and click on Edit, or you can go to the top right downward arrow and click on Exhibitor Center. From here, I am transported to the Exhibitor Center, the back end of my booth. The first thing that I will see is a nice welcome message from the organizers. Once I have read through this, I can click onto the next step, which is editing my company profile. I'm transported to the first section, which is the main information section. I can add a header image, given these specifications here, or I can also add a video to the platform. If it's hosted either on YouTube, on Vimeo, or if it's another iframe, I can add the ID or the iframe code here. I can add a logo to my booth with these specifications, or I can change the name of my booth as well. I can't change the location or the type because this is set by the organizers. If I click on the next information section on the top bottom right, I'm brought to the next section and I can add some information about my company and also use these formatting tools here. I can navigate through the sections on the bottom right and left, or I can click on edit next to each section. I can add some social media links to my profile and I can add some contact details. I can also add some documents and links. I can upload the file directly by clicking on this cloud here, or I can insert a URL. I can give the document a title with these max number of characters, and I can give it a brief description before creating the document. If I go back to the overview, I have also been given the option to add an advertisement by the organizers. I can add the image here, and then I can add a link to an external URL before creating the ad that will appear on the left-hand side of my booth. I can also choose to add a background image to my booth as well. Under meetings, I will see all of the meetings that attendees have requested with my booth popping up here. Here is one coming up. I can see the slots that have been selected. I can choose to reply to the meeting. I can accept or decline it, and I can select which team members should be taking part in this meeting as well. And then I can also access the meeting from here and closer to the time I can also access the meeting if it in case it's a virtual meeting. I can also export the meetings to an Excel file from here and I can select different members. So if I want to see only the meetings that have been allocated to certain team members, I can filter from here. Under availability, I see all of the slots that have been made available by the organizers. If I am not available during a certain slot, I just deselect certain slots. That means that nobody will be able to request a meeting with the booth during this time. Under leads board, I will see the analytics of the company booth. So the number of views and any contacts that have been made by my team members throughout the event. Under your team, you will see all of the team members that are part of the exhibitor booth. You can add a member here. The member has to be already registered for the event um, before you can add the email address. So in case they are not registered, they have to register first, and then you can add your colleague's email address in here, and then just click on add a member. If you click on edit next to your profile image, you can share, choose to share your profile on the um, exhibitor page. If you deselect this, your profile will not appear to other um, attendees uh, in the event. If you deselect share your leads with the team, then any contacts that you make throughout the event will not be shared with the team members um, and will not appear under the leads board. You can only do this for your personal account, so no colleague of yours can come in and do this for you. You have to do it logged into your own account. So that is all the options that you have available in the Exhibitor Center.